I'm always the one that brings it up. Like, y'all got TikTok? They're like, you have TikTok? Grow up. <laughs> Here, dude. Yeah, I got TikTok. What is good, YouTube? My name is George. I am at the new local skate park here with my man, Danny. Boom! Is this both of our local parks? It's one of our local parks now. I think this is the easiest one for both of us to get to. No, Cooper is easier for me. Oh, really? I don't have to take a train. Okay. Well, yeah, we're out here. It's fing. How cold is it? It said 25 degrees and it said it feels like it's 12 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be continuing to break in the new skateboard setup. Starting off 2020, moving into the apartment has me way more stressed out and busy than I expected. And I haven't been skating as much as I like to. One benefit to taking a short little break from skateboarding is that when you hop on the board again, you just feel so excited to skate. That's how I'm feeling right now. Let's get this session. Couple of really nice ledges here at Blue Park. I definitely have to backtail and backsmith them. I'm nervous that I lost them again, but that's why I have to do it again today. What? You just crooked? What? How? I hate that tree, dude. The board is actually feeling way more comfortable than my last session. Trucks are starting to turn normally. Wheels are feeling pretty cozy. But now I'm having trouble with the Nolly Crook. Kind of scary because it's like my favorite trick and I never want to lose it. Just got to power through, no excuses. We're going to get one. Danny. God, Danny. How is this first back crook? One of them. One of them. It's gone forever. Backsmith was tricky today, and I'm not gonna lie, a little bit of wax was involved. Every time I try the backsmith, it's so tedious and I wanna give up, but it does always start to come together and I end up getting one, and I know that the second I give up and don't try it during a session is when I'm gonna break the habit of actually doing it every session, which is what's helping me learn it. So gotta keep at it, and now back to all time with Danny. <laughs> Kind of a, uh, uh, how do I say this? Kind of a full circle moment here because the last video I made in New York City, I think was at Blue Park, could not backtail at the time, and I was stressing hard about finding an apartment. Now I'm here feeling super cozy on those backtails. I used to have to battle just to get into the backtail, but now I'm getting into it first try and landing it pretty quickly, which is insane. And that shows what happens when you just don't give up, work through those tedious skills in skateboarding because it does pay off. And instead of stressing about finding an apartment, now I'm stressing about picking up a couch. It will all be set up soon. Oh my god. <laughs> Setting up the apartment has been insanity. So this couch came on Craigslist and bringing it up the stairs was actually insane. We hired a mover and we tried to bring it up the stairs and we couldn't do it. He was like, yo, I gotta bounce. Myself and my two roommates had to do it ourselves. We had to push it up this tight curve up the stairs. It was actually kind of scary. At several times, I thought the couch was gonna crush me with its full weight. Eventually we were just pushing it with all our might. Something wiggled and it got up the stairs. All I can say is thank God we're on the second floor because we could not have done that another time. 
I'm so happy that my desk showed up. I actually canceled all my plans. I'm gonna build this thing right now because I've been so anxious without a dedicated workspace, just been completely unable to focus on tasks, work, etc. So rather than a skate setup, we're gonna build a desk. Everything in this box is going to become a desk. I can't wait. The process of setting up the apartment is actually really fun in itself, but I am super eager to feel what it's like not to be building my new space, but to have my own space, because then I can thrive outside of the space and in the neighborhood and come here to just purely enjoy it. I think the hard work is definitely going to be worth it. Honestly, mad cute that they included this little Phillips head screwdriver. I went a little bit crazy yesterday working on the room. Here is the desk all set up. I put my computer stand, I nailed my calendar onto the wall, got this lamp that I already had, and just started organizing things into the storage sections. Also super stoked on this find. This was actually in the trash right outside. I finally have a place to put just like all these office supplies and stickers. I also brought this piece of furniture that I already had, just started organizing more things into there. And I had this lamp back at home as well. It's crazy, even just having this little service to put more things on makes the room feel significantly more like a room. And I am just so excited on how it's coming out. I'm continuing to neglect my entire life besides setting up this apartment. I have over 300 emails right now, which literally never happens. When I'm on my shit, it never goes over 25 because I'm like doing everything I need to do. I've already picked up two items from Craigslist. One is this office chair. So this is needed to complete this workstation, but I tried cleaning the wheels and I actually destroyed one of them. So I need to grab replacements and I wanna still tease the apartment cause it's not all set up yet, but I picked up this table and these chairs from Craigslist. This apartment is becoming our own. I'm really excited to do the full apartment tour at some point. Finally back on the skateboard. It's actually freezing cold, like my hands are toast right now. We got Danny here, he's over there vlogging for his own video. And I'm gonna try something kind of stupid. Not because it's a stupid trick, well, some people might think it's stupid. I don't think it's stupid. I'm gonna try a Benihana out of this quarter pipe. The reason it's stupid is because it's I can't feel my hand, yet I'm supposed to grab my board. And I'm going to do a front side 50-50 to fakey. Actually never done it before. That would be a kind of simple way for me to progress today since I feel like I could probably do that pretty quickly so before my hands freeze off let's get this done I apologize I'm not usually one to give up but Benny Han is feeling way too hectic let's get that 50 to fake me though Double angles. It's so hard. Where the f can I do it? All right, Danny has dared me to try this, so if I die, it's on him. <laughs> About to like barrel dance on it. Come on, dude, you got like rockets on your socks. Just use that power. Back, baby. Danny's motivated me to try a new trick with him. Kickflip, backside axle stall. Never done it before. F yeah, dude.
Look at this, I can outro both videos. <laughs> All right, besides the fact that Danny just died, how are you, buddy? Dude. It was kind of bad. I am really stoked that you got me to, to try that because it's another new trick in the bag today. I knew you could do it. That's why we skate with friends. Oh, and, you're, uh, you're under the impression that we're friends? You oh. joke too much, Danny. Oh, I, I, gotta go. I had low expectations for this session, but the progression that happened today goes to show why you just need to go skate no matter how you're feeling about this sesh and just try to have fun because who knows what progress you will make. And I, I do say this all the time, but my opinion is that no matter how good your session goes, no matter what you're feeling, if you're riding on the board and trying things, that is progression and it's making you better at skateboarding in the long term. So for me personally, like especially lately since it's been cold and I know that I'm not gonna skate as well as I usually do, I like to set myself like small attainable goals. That way at least if I accomplish those, then I feel like I had like, you know, a good sesh and I still progress in some way it's interesting like I'm trying to provide a way to feel positive about the session yeah because sure. a lot of people they get bummed out so like doing what you said setting goals and just reaching them that could be a way for people to like just feel good about the sesh you know instead of being bummed out for no reason like sometimes you just, you just don't ski as well as right as well as you it's just what happens the mind is so powerful and safe thank you guys for being on this journey with me of moving into my new apartment it's just insane I still can't believe that I'm here I'm moving into my own place it is nuts I owe it all all to you guys thank you for watching the videos it really means so much to me yeah i'll catch you guys soon all right bye guys you know when you lose something and you just like cannot figure out how you possibly lost it